Hi guys, I'm Mark Mendoza. You can call me Sir M. Let's mark up your math skills today. This video is about evaluating functions. And how do we evaluate a function? To evaluate a function is to simply substitute the input or the given value or expression to the variable or variables of the function. To further explain this concept, let us have some examples. Let f of x be equal to 2x plus 3 and g of x be equal to 2x squared plus x minus 3. Let us evaluate f of 2. This means that we have to substitute 2 to the variable x for the function f. Therefore, we have 2 times 2 plus 3, which is equal to 7. For our second example, we're going to use the same functions f and g. Let us evaluate g of negative 4. This means that we're going to substitute negative 4 to the x's of function g. Replacing all the x's with negative 4 and performing the indicated operations, the value of g of negative 4 is positive 31. For example number 3, we're going to use both functions f and g. For this example, we will substitute 3 to the x in function f and negative 1 for all the x's in function g. Take note that for function g, we're going to compute for the value of the function at negative 1, then multiply the result by 3. After performing all the indicated operations, the value of f of 3 minus 3 times g of negative 1 is equal to negative 3. For example 4, let us compute for f of x minus 1 plus g of 2. Replacing x in function f with x minus 1 and positive 2 for function g, and performing the indicated operations, the value is 2x plus 14. And how do we evaluate functions graphically? For instance, remember that graphically, f of 6 is equal to 1 means that the point 6, 1 lies in the graph of function f. This goes to show that the point x, y is also the same thing as x in f of x. To further explain this, let us have some examples. For example 1, let us refer to the given graph and compute for the value of f of x if x is equal to 3. This means that we are getting the y coordinate of the point whenever x is equal to 3. By looking at the graph, there is a hollow circle at y is equal to 1 whenever x is equal to 3. Therefore, it means that 3, 1 is not part of the graph. However, since there is a solid circle at y is equal to 2 whenever x is equal to 3, the point 3, 2 exists. Therefore, the value of f of 3 is equal to 2. For this example, we need to get the values of f of negative 3, f of 2, and f of 3 before performing the indicated operations. The values of f of negative 3 is positive 2, f of 2 is positive 1, and f of 3 is positive 2. Simplifying it further, the value of the given expression is positive 6. For this example, let us compute for the value of x if f of x is equal to 1. We know for a fact that f of x is the same thing as the y coordinate of the point. By analyzing the graph, there is a set of x values corresponding to y is equal to 1. Therefore, the x values are the domain if y or f of x is equal to 1 is open parenthesis negative 3, comma, negative 2, close bracket, union of open bracket, 2, comma, positive 3, close parenthesis. For example 4, the domain if y or f of x is 0 is open parenthesis negative 2, comma, negative 1, close bracket, union of open bracket, positive 1, comma, positive 2, close parenthesis. Now that I have shown you examples on how to evaluate functions algebraically and graphically, it's your turn. Please pause the video and answer the following problems. And here are the solutions and answers to the given problems. And there you have it. Thank you for watching this video and hope you learned something today. See you on my next video. Bye!